Hey, AD, I'm Justina Blakeney. Welcome to our home. Come on in. The first time I walked into this room, everything was white. It had this gorgeous lanai, this indoor outdoor flow. And I just thought to myself, oh, this really matches my aesthetic, which is all about indoor outdoor, bringing in pieces I love from all over the world. Obviously color, it just had a vibe and it lit me up. The focal point of this room is the fireplace. And I've probably painted it 15 times already. <laughs> When people walk into this room, I really want them to have this feeling of warmth, of comfort, of good vibes, positive energy, a little bit of wonder, a little bit of magic, earthiness, that connection, that human nature connection. So you'll see lots of plants. I'm a big plant mama. And I love the colors of green and terracotta, the colors of earth and the colors of plants and how they fuse together to really create a feeling of earthiness and deliciousness. <laughs> So all over the house, you'll see lots of my artistry, which is so fun for me. The rug I'm standing on is a piece that I designed with Leloy rugs. We've got lots of my fabrics around. Lots of the pillows are from my designs. I have a line with Target, Jungalo design with Opal House. I'm all about mixing high and low, old and new, and just bringing out our family's personality through the designs. The palm trees are fabric from La Maison Pierre Frey. I sewed them into curtains myself. <laughs> Very DIY moment for me. Um, but I just loved this idea of having these two flanking palm trees with the stars. These are South African Debele fertility dolls. I've had these guys for a long time. My, my daughter really loved this one when she was little. So she played with her a lot. <laughs> What we did all over the house was try and think about the architecture of the space. And because I have a lot of tchotchkes, <laughs> I wanted a place to display them. So we actually had these shelves custom built by our incredible contractors. We put them in very intentionally, trying to mimic the natural feeling that the space already had. I don't think I can choose my favorite art piece in this room because all of it is just very meaningful to me. A lot of these pieces I've been carrying with me for many years, bowls, planters, anything with a face on it, a sun. I just love all that quirky stuff. So it's just fun. <laughs> When I first walked into this room, I was reminded of Morocco and the indoor outdoor feel. And it, I just, I was tripping. <laughs> I was like, I had all these ideas running through my head. The tile is a very Moroccan inspired moment from Badia Design in North Hollywood, one of my favorite places to get Moroccan goods. I just love the random energy that it brings and it reminds me of nature as well, which is just that random beauty. And then over here we have our tea area where we can sit and entertain and have tea. I'm a big tea girl. I designed the sofa. It's pencil rattan. I also designed the fabric that's on it and it's a fabric that's inspired by the Huntington Gardens. We also have these these skylights install their Velux skylights. This is going to enable us to bring in so many more beautiful planties into this space. So I found this painting at the Long Beach flea market. She was just staring at me and I just felt something. And that's how you know, like just that feeling. It's very ephemeral. Apparently, the guy I bought them for said he thought they were from a travel agency that was like defunct. <laughs> they were like all these women, super random, but unsigned, very vintage. And just the colors and her expression just give me that energy I'm looking for in this space. This is our dining room. This is really where we love to entertain and have guests over, chill out. We also have a uh, family gallery wall over here, which a lot of the people that we love, and our library. A lot of these books are my husband's, <laughs> um, but uh, I dabble as well. <laughs> This is a peacock chair. It's my interpretation of a traditional peacock chair, but I redesigned it and kind of wanted to have a throne moment at the head of this table. But at the same time, it feels kind of regal, but not too snobby. <laughs> so I like to keep things kind of down home and chill too. 
So these are our chicken chairs. Every time I sit down on them, they just make me smile. And I think that's what design is all about. It's about bringing stuff into your home that makes you feel something, makes you smile, brings you joy. And that's really what this room does for me. Welcome to our kitchen. I'm so excited about this space. When we first moved in, there was a drop ceiling here. And the first thing I really wanted to do for the energy of the space was to open it up to the sky. So we were able to open up the ceilings and put in these two skylights so that I could flank both sides of the kitchen with a kitchen garden on either side. And fun geeky fact, I had a drip system installed up there so that it waters my plants automatically, which as a plant mama brings a lot of joy. This is my first time using an induction oven and stove, which is really cool. Water boils like instantaneously. So that's exciting. This ladies and gentlemen is a pot filler. <laughs> it's high. I feel like my husband and I were joking. We we're like, it's like when you go to Morocco and they give you tea and they, <laughs> and they pour it like that. But the idea is when we're making pasta, you can turn it on here. And you don't have to go to the sink. It's a little lazy, but gorgeous. When we designed the kitchen, it was really important for me for the sink to be by a window. Cause when you're doing dishes, I like to look out and have some greenery and we're up in the mountains out here. And I've actually seen some wild creatures. <laughs> there were a couple of bobcats walking down here. I was like, those are big cats. And I was like, oh, those are bobcats. So it gets wild out here. This is our guest room and I'm so excited that we have a guest room. I wanted this room to feel like a little boutique hotel. I'm trying to get my friends to come stay. I'm like, come stay, I'm just hanging out. So this is a brand new wallpaper that I just designed. It just immediately transported me. And that's one thing I really love to do with my design work is to be able to take people on little trips just by going from room to room. This is a pillow from the Jungle Align at Target. And um, these are my drawings. I draw a lot of faces. It really is about expressing my own personal identity. And I just do that a lot in my artwork. So you'll see this is another piece of mine, another face. Another piece of mine, another face. This one too. I just love faces and, and I love drawing them. We also built this headboard because this was an existing beam in here that ran all the way down to the floor. So to be able to put in a bed without having to flank it up against the wall. So we built this headboard as a solution for that. It's finally all ready. So friends, if you're out there, you can come visit. <laughs> This is my home office. This is where I do my art, take meetings, do all the businessy stuff I gotta do. You'll find me here a lot, of, all day long, many, many days. I found this hutch at Jason Home. It's a vintage piece and I measured it out and realized it fit perfectly on here. And I love that it kind of lends a little feeling of history to the space and kind of brings that same sort of Spanish old world feel into this room as well to kind of connect it with the rest of the house. I sometimes feel shy about displaying my art like around my home. So I have a whole gallery wall on this side that features a lot of my paintings and uh, they're very personal to me. They oftentimes express a lot about my own personal multicultural identity and a lot of images of nature, abstract and weird. <laughs> I say nothing ever goes to waste because <laughs> I'll paint, I'll doodle, I'll draw, I'll make a collage. And it's really, again, from, from the human hand, from my hands, that all of these designs are born. And so I'm proud. I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of my team, my incredible team at Jungalo and all the beauty that we're able to create. So this is our bedroom and our last bedroom was very, very bright. And so for this bedroom, we decided we wanted to go in the opposite direction. So we decided to go with this incredible teal lime wash in here. And it has these incredible textures on it. So instead of painting on them with a roller, my amazing painter Chago painted it all with a brush. And so when you look at it, you can see his hand. As soon as we painted it, like we walked in and we really felt transported. We felt like we were underwater. And so then when we got this incredible vintage headboard, I was like, 
This is like the Love Island <laughs> in this deep teal water deliciousness. So welcome to our Love Island. <laughs> This painting was done by my great uncle Bert, and it's been in our family for generations. It's actually a portrait of my aunt Sylvia. It's very special to me because I grew up surrounded by his artwork in our home and in my grandparents' home. And so I inherited this piece when my grandparents passed away and our fireplace, <laughs> I mean, romance. <laughs> Welcome to my spa. My husband and I actually combined two smaller bathrooms to create one larger one here. And they sourced a lot of vintage for this room, like this light, which has all these little marbles in it. So you get all these different colors shining through. And I do have to show you one more thing on this side. I really didn't want there to be a toilet in the middle of my spa moment. So we hid it behind these vintage doors from India and all the little white parts are all mother of pearl inlay. It's insane. <laughs> we put three skylights in this bathroom, which is maybe a little bit extra, but in our last home, we had an outdoor shower. And so I really love, love, love the feeling of being able to look up and see the sky when I'm in the shower. So we put a skylight in the shower and then we added two more because we're a little extra. <laughs> this is my closet and it feels like a tree house and I feel like I'm the luckiest girl in the world when I'm in here. <laughs> this is the first time I've had a space like this. I, I heard someone the other day call it a dressing room and I was like, what? Do I have a dressing room? But it's just so fun to be able to have a place to hold all my things that I've been collecting for years. And it's just fun to have a place that feels very chic and elevated to put them all. California Closets built this closet for me and the wallpaper is not my design, but we do carry it at Jungalo. It is very jungleicious. I really wanted to bring that kind of like Beverly Hills Hotel energy into this space. I wanted this to be my glam moment. And my husband has his own closet in the bedroom. This one is all mine. <laughs> This is the interior courtyard. It's pure magic. I absolutely love this internal courtyard because it connects our entire home. And you gotta check out this olive tree because this olive tree in the center of this courtyard is what really sold me on this house. There's this incredible little lounge area and we first visited the home. It was set up as a dining area. And about a week later, I saw this 20 piece sectional with this carved wood inside, fell in love and look at the way it fits in there. I didn't even know that's where it was gonna go, but it fit there like it was meant to be. And I gotta take you down to visit one more spot. Let's go for a swim. You ready? <laughs> Welcome to our pool area. We redid this entire area. It was already beautiful, but we just wanted to put our spin on it. We put in traditional Spanish tile because there was originally Spanish tile here. Unfortunately, we couldn't salvage it. So we added something that had a very similar feeling. And then we decked out this area with a lot of fun drought tolerant plants. And there are quite a few pieces out here that are from some of my different lines, again, mixing high and low and just creating a very vibrant, fun, colorful atmosphere. We hang out out here all the time. Summer is upon us. And if you're looking for me, this is where you'll find me. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, AD. That was so much fun. Time to go cook dinner. Catch y'all later.